I did a video last week on the new titles in Premiere, and a few people have commented and said there doesn't appear to be any roll or crawl option, and that was always a thing, wasn't it, in the uh, old version of titling? It was like a button at the top where you could choose whether it kind of started on the screen and finished off the screen and various different roll and crawl options. But I've checked through the templates here. There doesn't seem to be anything. I mean, maybe someone will come back and tell me that, that there is actually a, a very specific way of doing this. Hopefully they do. But for now, here's a very, very simple way of doing that. Uh, I've just got a clip here, and I'm going to put some titles over the top of that. So I'm just going to click on the Type tool and click in the main screen, and just going to quickly now type, so let's say Director is, I don't know, David Hasselhoff. But I won't make you watch this, so I'll uh, skip through this now and uh, get to the end of this, but I'm just going to carry on typing down and type some stuff to use as you would in uh, some rolling titles. Right, so I'm carrying on typing here and you can see it's kind of gone off the screen which is a bit annoying but someone pointed out uh, on the on the last video that if you're in this type section you can just press escape and uh, pressing escape like that takes you straight out to the selection tool and that's great because you can just then move up and press the T again and it carries on from where you left off or you can just go to the bottom here and uh, carry on typing so escape back to there T goes back into there really useful when you're doing this sort of thing where you want to move the box around because you're otherwise not going to be able to see it but you can individually select the text in here and maybe make these sections bigger just to kind of make it a bit more interesting to look at you've got the complete flexibility to do this exactly as you would have done previously so let's just work up through these and make each of these bigger. Yeah, sometimes when you press the T to go back into the type tool, it does actually put a T in where you last were. So if you kind of got this highlighted and you press T, uh, it'll um, it'll go back in and replace this with just a T. Even though it does switch back to the type mode, uh, it does also put a T. So that's a, kind of a bit fiddly, but you can get around that very easily. Right, so let's escape out of there, and I want to center this text now, as we did previously, and center it in the box. And I'm going to just drag it kind of pretty much off screen. In fact, let me just quickly center that before, and move it now off screen to there. And now we move over to the effects section and into transform. And we've got our position here. Add a keyframe, so let's, well, it's probably going to, it's a fair, fair amount of uh, credits there, so I'm probably going to want to good few sort of good 20 seconds or so to run through those uh, put a position keyframe in at the start run through near to the end doesn't have to be right to the end because you can move it anyway Ooh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here with the camera and then put your change your position of the credits so just roll them up you can you could move them up I guess but I'm just going to roll them up manually here and you can see that I'm going to want them, they're going to be off screen there. Right, good. And that's put the keyframe in because I moved the position, it's automatically put the keyframe in anyway. And we now, so we now have two keyframes, one at the start, one at the end for that motion. There we go. So if we play that. There we go, we have some rolling credits. And you can right click on here and you can export this as a motion graphics template. Uh, roll, let me put roll crawl template and save that to your library here. And you can then just drag that in and it'll be the same as this. So, yes, it will have the text in it. As far as I know, we'll have the same text in it, but the keyframing element and the speed and the fonts and the all that is preset then, and you can just reuse this. So you can then just go into it. You can just go into the text tool and just edit the stuff as you as you want to. Uh, it's really quite straightforward to do. So although there is no roll crawl option, I actually find that this method is really just as quick and probably more flexible. Uh, so I'm not not seeing massive problem with that. That's how I would go about it. If um, anyone else has a better way, please do let me know. Thanks for watching.